Good day, viewers. Today we shall be looking at this set of questions on the board. Dear viewers, please, it is your support that keeps us going, gives us the courage to keep teaching. If you are just coming across our video for the first time on YouTube, please, if you enjoy our videos, support us by clicking on the subscribe button down below the video. And if you wish to be notified when we drop a new video, you can also click on the notification button. Thank you. Number one, identify the missing number at the end of the series 11, 16, 26, 41. To go about this, we're going to get the difference of, let's observe the trend, the difference between each consecutive term. You have this. The difference 16 minus 11 is what? 5. You come to this. The difference 26 minus 16 is what? 10. You come to this. The difference. 12 minus 26 is what? 15. So if you observe the differences, it is following a particular counting order. We are counting in fives. 5, 10, 15. The next difference will be what? 20. And that will give us the next number. 20. So to get the second term, you add 11 plus 5, 16. This plus this, this. So 41 plus 20 will give us what? 61. So the missing number here in the series is 61, and that is given by option what? C. You come to number two. For number two, we have the series 5, 12, 19, 26, and then the missing number. Let us get the difference of each consecutive term. 12 minus 5 is what? 7. 19 minus 12 still 7 26 minus 19 7 you can see they have a constant difference so the next difference must be what also 7 5 plus 7 12 so 26 plus 7 will give us what 33 right so the next number is 33 and that is given by option what option b now move to number 3 Number three says component X, Y, and Z are ordered in the ratio 1 ratio 5 ratio 4. How many Z components would be in an order for 8,000 components? Now, if you want to get the X component, you need to get the total ratio, right? You have ratio 1 ratio 5 ratio 4. So the total ratio is given to be what? 1 plus 5, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. Total ratio is 10. For each component now, Suppose you want to get for x, we're going to divide the ratio of x by the total ratio, then multiply by the total component. But the question asks us to get for what? Z component. So the ratio for z is what? 4. We're going to have 4 all over the total ratio, 10, then times the number of components, 8,000. This gives us what? 0 cancel out 0. Okay? 4 times 800 will give us what? 4 times 8 is 32, so you have 32, then you have the 0, 0, 0, 0, 3,200 components, and that is given by option what? A. Option A gives the correct answer to number 3. And that is all we have for you today. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.